Good afternoon. My name is Joe Morin. I'm a retired nurse anesthetist. And in December of 06, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer following a biopsy. I was referred to a urologist of my choice by my family physician because I had a PSA of 63. He uh, did the biopsy, the, uh, I had a bone scan done, MRI, and those were all fine. He offered me the usual uh, treatments that's here in Maine that's accepted. The uh, following the uh, uh, biopsy and the diagnosis, he offered uh, doing the prostate the conventional way, which I saw many and I didn't want that bloody procedure done. And he offered me the seeds. I didn't want seeds. He offered me radiation. I'm not a fan of radiation. And he offered me uh, the uh, uh, hormone treatment. Because of that high PSA, he did give me a shot of Eligard, which supposedly was supposed to be good for six months. I did not care for that hormone therapy whatsoever. I had all the uh, symptoms associated with it, the night sweats, short-term memory loss. I sometimes had to change my pajamas twice during the night. That was not acceptable. So I elected to do nothing. I was 72 at the time. My daughter who lives in Florida is an accountant at Plantation General and she knew of Dr. Krongrad. And she said, my doing nothing was not acceptable. So she made an appointment for me to see him in May. I flew to Florida, saw the doctor. His office people, Hope and Faith, were really, really, uh, Hope and uh, Ruth were very, very good. Uh, so therefore, they scheduled me for all the uh, necessary tests. And on May 17th, I had the uh, Da Vinci robotic procedure done. Woke up in the recovery room, no pain. I went to my room, back to my room around 7 p.m. I did walk around the room. Uh, a little bit of discomfort from the drain and the Foley catheter, but not really painful. Uh, the, the Dr. Krongrad discharged me the following morning uh, around noon time I returned to my daughter three days after the surgery I saw him he removed the drain and said everything looked real good one week after the surgery I flew home 14 days after the surgery my urologist here in Maine removed the catheter with no problem and I went kayaking on my favorite lake I was incontinent for about six to seven weeks. By September, I was completely continent, no problem, no pain, no discomfort. Everything felt great. I went bow hunting in October, and uh, I was doing fine. I completely set aside the fact that I had had prostate cancer. It's, I'm now 77 and still doing fine. No problem so far. Now, following the surgery, the uh, path came back and showed a uh, Gleason 9. And about it had not gone outside the capsule. Uh, Dr. Krongrad took several nodes and those were all uh, negative. So my recommendation, if you're going to have something done, if you're going to have the prostate removed, definitely go with the robotic surgery. I have recommended that surgery to several people here in town, and they've all had excellent results. Uh, one friend of mine decided to have it done the old way, and he was miserable for the remainder of the summer. And uh, so, and he, I think he spent five or six days in the hospital. So I hope. This information has been helpful to you. Whatever I have said here, this is me. Uh, what
whatever you choose, uh, good luck, and God bless.